All right, the bucket that uh, comes with our setup is actually a hydroponic bucket. And it works very well for us because it's got this nice outflow tube here. Um, and it does come with some extra parts, one that you need to remove, and that's this step-down plug. And so how I remove the step-down plug is I just used a small screwdriver I insert it and get it down past the plug so I can get some leverage. Little bit past the plug in between the tubing and the plug itself and then just kind of lever it out. And it's removed and that's garbage as far as we're concerned at this point. The next thing that we need to do is you'll notice that the tube is oriented bent this way. And so we just need to turn it out a little bit so that when it's sitting down, it fits nicely over the lip of our stream table. And the last thing we need to do is install this flow controller. Um, it's got a little lip on it, and we just need to get the tube past the lip. And so I just want to make sure it's pretty close to lined up the way I want it lined up. And then I just use a little twisting action and pushing action, and I've got it attached. It doesn't have to go much past that lip at all. And our setup's going to look like this once we've made that little swap. And that's it. So after each run, we're going to have a little bit of excess water left in the bottom of the table. And it's useful to just lift it a little bit to drain it. Beforehand, of course, make sure that the outflow bucket is in place. Uh, the students will just have to move the tube a little bit, put their hand under it, lift it a little bit. It's a little heavy, but not too bad. It takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds to drain most of the water out. And it doesn't have to obviously be completely dry. We just have to get most of the water out. And that should do it. And then they just need to set it back on top of the hockey pucks. That's it. All right. Well, I found that the best way to make the river, uh, rather than just running the smallest spackle tool, up the stream table like this, which is kind of messy, is to use it kind of as a shovel. So I just go in till the uh, spackle tool is basically full of sand and then toss it off to the side. And it just needs to be far enough from the edges so that it's not going to fall in as the river erodes and kind of confound the data. And this doesn't have to be super systematic. Uh, which side you put it on. The idea is just getting the sand out of the way. And then as you can see at the end, we have a nice smooth river.